and sisters, today we are praying for the soul of Lourdes Pereira. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we know what is happening in this world, especially Israel. There is a strong message for all of us. Everybody is killed there. Nobody is safe. <coughs> and also other places, some people are in favor of Israel, others are against. And so every country there is turmoil. And this is not going to to bring any peace to anybody. So only Jesus is the Prince of Peace can bring peace to us. And the people, when they accept Jesus, they can live in peace. With this intention, we enter in this Mass and ask forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to save with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, whole, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Maccabees. In those days, the king's officers who were enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to make them offer sacrifice. Many from Israel came to them, and Matathias and his sons were assembled. Then the king's officers spoke to Matathias as follows. You are a leader honored and great in this city and supported by sons and brothers. Now be the first to come and do what the king commands, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. 
then you and your sons will be numbered among the friends of the king, and you and your sons will be honored with silver and gold and many gifts. But Matathias answered and said in a loud voice, even if all the nations which live under the rule of the kings obey him and have chosen to do his commandments, departing each one from the religion of his fathers, yet I and my sons and brothers will live by the covenant of our fathers. Far be it from us to desert the law and ordinances. We will not obey the king's word by turning aside from our religion to the right hand or to the left. Then he had finished speaking this word, a Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice upon the altar in Modin, according to the king's command. When Matatya saw it, he burned with zeal, and his heart was stirred. He gave vent to righteousness, righteous anger. He ran and slaughtered him upon the altar. At the same time, he killed the king's of officer, who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Then he burned with zeal for the law, as Phineas did against Zimri, son of Salon. Then Matathias cried out in the city with a loud voice, saying, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and supports the covenant come out with me. And he and his sons fled to the hills and left all that they had in the city. Then many who were seeking righteousness and justice went down to the wilderness to dwell there. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our response to the psalm is, to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Please repeat. To, to one, one whose way, way is blameless, I will, I will show, show the salvation of the Lord. of the Lord. The God of gods, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God is shining forth. Response. To one, one whose who way is, is blameless, blameless I, I will show the salvation of the Lord. Gather my holy ones to me, who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God, is the judge. Response. To one, one whose who way is blameless, blameless I, will I will show the salvation of the Lord. Give your praise as a sacrifice to God, and fulfill your vows to the Most High, then call on me in the day of distress. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. Response. To one, one whose way is blameless, blameless I, will I will show the salvation of the Lord. Gospel acclamation, kindly stand. Hallelujah. Listen to the voice of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, when Jesus drew near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. 
and they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's scripture readings, we get a glimpse of a thoughtful message about dedication, sacrifice, and a call to be aware of God's presence in our lives. In the first reading taken from 1st Maccabees, we witnessed the dedication of the Maccabean family, determined to uphold their faith in the face of persecution. Their courage and commitment to God's commandments stand as an enduring testament to the strength that comes from an unwavering trust. Matatheus, his faith and determination started a revolt that led to the successful rebellion against the Seleucid ruler Antiochus IV, and he reconsecrated the defiled temple of Jerusalem in around 160 BCE. When we reflect on the Gospel, we are familiar that the Gospel of Luke is roughly divided into four parts. The fourth section starts from chapters 19b to 24, and it deals with Jesus' time in Jerusalem. In the Gospel passage of today, which belongs to this section, we see Jesus weeps over Jerusalem, lamenting in the impending destruction which happened in 70 AD, especially with the destruction of the temple. In these tears of Jesus, we sense the profound love and concern of our Savior. Jesus weeps for his people. He longs for the people to recognize the time of God's visitation, his presence in their midst, urging them to embrace the path of peace, justice, and love. You see, Jesus weeps for us too. For the moments we fail to recognize his constant presence in our lives, especially those moments when we feel alone, when we feel abandoned, when we feel unloved. As we reflect on these passages, consider the dedication of the Maccabean family. In their commitment, we find inspiration for our own faith journey. How do we stay true to our beliefs in the face of challenges? It is a reminder for us to be steadfast in our faith and do our part in fighting for justice in our times of persecution. Are we dedicated to God's commandments, even if it demands sacrifice? Jesus' tears over Jerusalem remind us of the importance of recognizing God's presence in our lives. In the busyness of our days, do we let our guards down in this world that makes us strive for worldly greatness, such as power, position, and wealth? Do we take time to discern God's presence among us? Do we respond to God's call for peace and reconciliation, a peace within our own selves, and a reconciliation with those whom we are supposed to love, yet cast aside? In this Holy Eucharist, let us ask for the faith, same faith and determination of the Maccabean family to navigate the difficulties of life. May it ignite a fervent commitment in us and let Jesus' tears be a call to recognize God's presence, constant presence in our lives. And through our dedication and determination, may we be agents of justice, love and peace, bearing the light of Christ in this world of need. For the offertory, let us take hymn number B23 on page 73.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. And also lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, Almighty, you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And also in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy we claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth, earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon life that you hold, so that they may become for us the blood and body of Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he has betrayed, he was betrayed, and entered willingly into the passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread bread and and drink this cup, cup, We We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, with all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to the cause of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory on yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Relieve us, deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to His supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> For communion, please take hymn number.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that Lord your Son commanded to us, do in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Number C C six on page seventy-nine. Great indeed.